Hello there. My name is George Kasanik, and I'm a junior in the Mechanical Engineering Technology Program uh, here at the University of Akron. And uh, I'm going to show you around here at a couple classrooms and labs uh, that you'll be taking in your core classes here for this degree program. Uh, really good labs that give you hands-on experience uh, for things that you're going to need in industry. So let's go check it out. So these are the two buildings that you will have the majority of your core classes in. This is Shrink Hall North, and this over here is Shrink Hall South. Nice looking buildings. Uh, this Shrink Hall South will offer most of your lab courses, and you have uh, plenty of computer labs in Shrink Hall North. You do a lot of your design courses up on the fourth floor. This is our PLC lab. This is where you'll be doing your labs for your Intro to Industry Machinery Controls course. And what this is, is you are going to transfer your ladder logic that you may create in class, and you are going to simulate it on this PLC program, uh, maybe running a sequence that you would use in uh, production. So you wanna run a conveyor belt, a couple motors, some switches that will turn on and off, a push button, uh, all very important stuff uh, that you would use in industry for a uh, production and manufacturing job. This is our fluid power and thermal energy lab. As you can see, we have some fluid testers, fluid power testers here. And you are able to use this tubing here to create a hydraulic sequence, uh, getting one to move out while another one is moving in. Uh, anything you want to do gives you great hands-on experience. There's also this refrigeration system where you have the compressor, condenser, and evaporator, and you're able to read the pressures of the refrigeration moving within the system. This is a hydrostatic tester, able to simulate uh, hydrostatic pressure for different weights. And this is a burst tester. You're able to test plastic or copper tubing in here, uh, pressurizing it to get it to fail, to crack, to burst. This is a losses and bends simulator. So you get to test out uh, how pressure is lost through different bends of tubing. You have a gradual 90 over here and a hard 90 over here and that is able to simulate different pressures that reads it here and shows you what loss and pressure you're getting. And finally, we also have the wind tunnel here. Uh, this is able to test aerodynamics. Uh, the wind comes from here and moves to the left and it hits this little airplane wing. These little copper or these little tubes pick up the pressures and are able to show you uh, where the lift and pressure is happening on the wing. This is our materials testing and plastic processes lab. Here's uh, several different types of testers to test the material that you want to inspect, understand its forces that it can withstand. Here are some testers uh, for metal materials that you might want to understand better. The machine on the right uh, uses tensile or compressive forces to elongate and stretch a metal until it literally, literally snaps. And that computer will pick up any kind of elongation to the very point of it breaking. The middle machine uh, is like a giant pendulum. You would set a piece of metal at the bottom and bring that pendulum up. It's very heavy and you would swing it and it would record the impact that the metal is uh, experiencing and it'll get it to the point where it will actually break, snap the metal that is uh, down there. This is a shear tester. It'll put a piece of metal in a double shear and uh, will record the point to where it will break. These are rock well hardness testers uh, to understand how materials uh, create an indentation, how much force it takes to create that indentation. You'd put a metal disc right here this comes down and puts an impression on that disc and will record the, the force that was acted on, upon it. 
Here we have some plastic processes testers, uh, stuff that will test the flow of plastic for injection molding. That's uh, very important to understand the flow of plastic when you're doing injection molding. This is an abrasion tester. Uh, test the amount of abrasion that a certain plastic can withstand. If you're trying to work with different hardnesses and materials of plastics, uh, this is something you would want to use to test that. Here are some molds for plastic processes. There's a guitar pick mold. Okay, we're up on the fourth floor of Shrank Hall North, and this is a computer lab that you'll be frequenting uh, in this degree program. They have dual screens for your design courses, intro to mechanical design, mechanical design two, and mechanical design three. And the dual screens are really effective when you want to use your software, SolidWorks or AutoCAD on one screen and use the other screen for notes and design parameters that your professor has set out for you. Uh, in those SolidWorks courses, you're designing parts and gears, uh, even a whole double reduction gearbox uh, for Mechanical Design 3. Here we are approaching the Zips Racing Workshop. And these are teams of students uh, that have contributions from over a hundred uh, contributors for donations. And these teams create, build, design race cars that compete all over the world, including Germany, Austria, Hungary, and Michigan. This is the co-op and placement for engineering and polymer science students. Uh, this is where you can go and get placed by full-time staff. They'll find a company that's looking for a co-op position. Also, the fall and spring job fairs are also wonderful uh, places. There's literally hundreds of employers that are looking for their next generation of workers. All right, as you can see, this degree program offers you wonderful hands-on experience as well as giving you a great academic education. Uh, if you want a quality mechanical engineering degree with the hands-on experience to get you out in industry and working right away, this is the degree program for you. Uh, I hope this tour helped and go Zips. See you soon.